Okay, so we're doing another Back to Eden Garden video, and this actually isn't a Back to Eden Guardian Garden video. That's the funny thing. Uh, we've had some complaints, so to speak. Uh, I am not following true Back to Eden Gardening, right, Emil? So uh, what's going on here is people have noticed in the blueberry patch, true Back to Eden Gardening is filled full of wood chips, sky high. No weeds, because they're easy to pull, right? Uh, you shouldn't be seeing what you're seeing out here. Heaven forbid, guys, you should never put a pot in the soil like I do. Um, there's a lot of different things that people have brought to my attention they're extremely bothered from. Um, I am the sole person that farms this four acres and probably produce more product than most farms out there all by myself. Do I follow back to Eden Gardening and Paul, the man that put the video out? I respect Paul dearly. God is my savior also. And you know what? He's also taught me the same concepts as Paul. Do not till your soil, which I do not do. I use only hand tools and I do not own a tractor. I take care and manage this whole four acres that runs from the exotics to trees, to livestock, to basic plants and herbs. Um, what I noticed was people are disturbed by thinking back to Eden gardening needs to look like piles of wood chips, okay? Um, if you're doing a 10 by 10, 20 by 20, heck, you got yourself a 40 by 60 plot, bitchin', bring in those wood chips and fill that baby sky high. I'm running a lot more land and remember, I got no tractor, I got a wheelbarrow. So I'm busting it 24 seven. And you know, wood chips, oh yeah, I got wood chips in here, guys. I got all kinds of stuff. I mean, there is stuff all, there's a chicken egg in here. <laughs> so we do have turkeys and chickens that even come in here actually. Uh, I knew I saw some turkeys, didn't think I saw chickens, but we got a chicken egg. <laughs> um, we've got gopher holes galore in here, guys. When I talked about planting in the pots and some people were offended, look, you can put your blueberries direct into that Bermuda grass all you'd like. I'm not gonna tell you not to do that. I'm gonna tell you I'm not doing it, <laughs> that I'm not gonna weed that mess away. And I knew a real old coot, and let me tell you, that old man that's not alive anymore, he taught me one pretty bitchin' thing about the blueberry, and he said, when you want to plant it and you ain't got the right environment, bury that pot and cut the bottom out. Gophers can't come in. The pH stays beautiful and you can put trees right near that. So to the battle on about sulfur and that true back to Eden gardening, actually you don't need to add sulfur to those plants. Well, I'm going to tell you if your pH is that low because you're back to Eden gardening power to you, but I hope you're only growing blueberries because if you put anything else in there other than rhododendrons, <laughs> thank you, and blueberries, you're gonna kill the rest. So my pH is ideal for everything out here doing back to Eden gardening. It's a perfect ideal. I am a six across the board, but I need a four. So I use sulfur. Folks, you don't have to use the sulfur. Don't, but don't text me that you got small blueberries or no blueberries or your plant's stunted and looking dead. I mean, this is silly, folks. I'm giving tips. I'm trying to be an honest woman and tell you how I manage this whole farm by myself, and this is how we do it. And if you got Bermuda like I do, then I highly suggest following some of my ways. These weeds, to manage this, do I bring in 40 tons of wood chips? No. I use a weed eater for 12 hours for about four or five days straight, and that'll cover all four acres by myself in between everything, and I do that about six to eight times a year. I love it when this grass is like this. I knock it right over, creates a beautiful bed over summer, holds the moisture in. Back to Eden Gardening, folks, remember? But no, I don't just make use of truckloads of wood chips. I'm in an area where they don't even come to. Where should I get them? And you know the whole chip drop thing? I'm gonna go on that, because yes, back to Eden Gardening, everybody wants wood chips. Well, chip, chip drops, charging people 100 bucks now to get their chips. Come on, folks, there's so many other ways. You can do like I do, 
grow those weeds out. We don't touch anything over winter. We let it grow tall. I come in at spring, I start knocking it down, expose everything. The amount of worms and bugs in here is just pure heaven. All these trees do so fantastic. And this little sad guy, huh? This is our little uh, Arkansas, I think, black spur that I planted just recently. We should get some good apples out of it. So again, back to Eden Gardening, folks. Let, let's not go by the rule book here. I know there's a lot of people that are checking off yes and no's, yes and no's. Did I follow it? Am I doing it right? Look, the proof is in the pudding. What's your fruit look like? You know, what are your berries looking like? What's everything looking like? I think that pretty much will say it. I don't have to discuss anymore if you're doing it right or not. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. The cardboard thing, folks, Come on, let's get off this kick of cardboard. When did God float down cardboard out in the forests and bury it? He did not, okay? Cardboard is a chemical. Don't fool yourself, people are lying. Yes, you can use straw. Yes, it's uh, genetically modified and GMO sprayed, but you can still use it. Lots of seeds too. That's all you can get, fine. Don't use that cardboard though, guys. I mean, there's a lot of things you can use instead of that. Get those wood chips everybody wants to get, you know? Get your hands on some of those. But I don't get wood chips, remember? So what I have is many herds of livestock, because that's what I do on top of all this. And I gather up all of that poop year round, don't we, Emil? And we wheelbarrow out to these areas. So uh, back to Eden Gardening, folks. You know, do the best you can, but I'm not certainly not gonna judge you. 